Welcome back users. In today's video, we will be doing the installation of Tuxedo OS. So let us start. I have already downloaded the ISO. Open it in boxes. There is no available template for Tuxedo OS. So we can go with a unknown uh, OS template. Increase the RAM size to 4 GB as usual and the VDD size to 25 GB. There are multiple options boot from USB HDD Tuxedo OS 1, boot from DVD virtual machine Tuxedo OS 1, Web FI boot. So, that Web FI, FAI is a uh, image for the Tuxedo OS. So it was the earlier arrangement. So only you could install Tuxedo on the Tuxedo computers only using the Web FAI. But now the Tuxedo OS is available for all the uh, computers. You can install it on any of the system and you can use from the first two options. And this is Web FI is for the wireland. So it is a network installer and this is a network installer with which works only on the Tuxedo hardware and this is a optional installed BIOS system on. I think it is for the OEM install. So we will choose the second option because our uh, ISO is recognized as a DVD, a DVD image in the GNOME boxes. We cannot use it as a USB because it is not recognized as a USB ISO in GNOME boxes. It is recognized as a DVD ISO in the GNOME boxes. So we will use the option 2. So this is the live desktop of Tuxedo OS that is booting up. We will wait for the live desktop to come up. The installer is already available for starting the installation but we will wait for the complete uh, live desktop to boot up. We will go with English language only. We can go with either American English or British English. Let us go with the uh, American English. So the locale has been correctly selected via automatic means. So we are connected with the network. We will choose the Indian keyboard layout. The live desktop still is not booted properly. I don't see the two desktop icons here. They should come. But uh, let me check. Yes. So live desktop is still not booted up properly. But we can go and install the OS. Installer is working. Okay, so now you can see the live desktop is now properly booted. Again, uh, we have lost the uh, installation. The installer has shut off. So we will have to restart the installer. The complete uh, live desktop, live KDE desktop of Tuxedo OS is now booted up. So it took a while for the live desktop to boot up. So my request to the developer team of Tuxedo OS is that please make the boot times of live desktop improve. Yes, now it is giving a warning. You are going to install Tuxedo OS on a non-Tuxedo device. 
software like Tomte that is the driver manager or the Tuxedo control center will not work or will only work limited. So you have to confirm it. Will you do an encrypted installation and erase all data on the selected disk? The whole disk will be used. If you don't want that, hit no. So we will not do the encrypted uh, installation, but you can do it if you want. You see now the CalMS installer is uh, again, we have to restart from the start. So that is the selection of the language and local. Okay, now uh, I think the local uh, selection is already done. So the CalMS installer has started directly and it has gone to the partition uh, stage. So we can now partition the disk. So there are two options to erase the disk or to do, do the manual partitioning. Let us do the manual partitioning. Create a new partition table with MBR or you can go with the GUID partition also. with this going with slash boot with slash EFI now we will create a swap space So we are done with the partitioning. You can see here we have created a EFI boot partition, a swap space and a root partition. We have to hit the next button now. Create the username. Okay, so GPT partition is best. Okay, what we have done is we have forget one thing. We will go back. We have to edit. Uh, we make it was 800 so we make it 792 and this we have to create a bios grub partition you make it unformatted and a bios grub partition so i think now uh, it is properly done yes so now you can create the user select the name or uh, give the name for the pc input your uh, password here there is no option to make the user password same as administrator password so it is assumed that the user uh, created will be uh, added to the admin group and you won't have any problems but uh, there is no separate option for uh, for the user to be added to the administration group from here i think it is done automatically and there is no option to create a root user separately so you you, you don't uh, have the option to specify the root password here now it is showing us the summary of the partitions that will be done Now we can go for the installation. And one uh, request to the developers, please make this progress bar in different color. Right now you can see the progress bar is not properly visible. Uh, in contrast to the background both are white so it is not eligible properly they should make it in any color other than the background color you can make it green orange yellow any any color but right now you can see that it is not properly visible so developers to should take a notice of this uh, 
some issue is there let me check what is happening so this is expected when uh, it is now freely available for the non tuxedo operating system so the installer is again shut off so we will have to restart the installer so i think the installer is working okay what is the issue so there is some issue with the installer itself you can see it has started again for the second time restarted and we are again back with the language settings so we have to start again okay now partitioning i think has been done properly and you can see here the root partition is already created so you can see the name to uh, ubuntu tuxedo os because tuxedo is is i think based on ubuntu so it is using the ubuntu as a base so we can go for the manual partitioning you can see here the erase uh, this uh, erase this option has now disappeared only manual partitioning option is there so i think we will have to do nothing uh, everything has been created all the partitions are there only we have to specify the flags so we need to specify the flags we have to i think again format looks like some there is some issue i think it is not letting me set the mount points so i think we will have to do it again we have to create a new partition because it is not allowing me to set the mount point so mount point setting is not possible so we will have to do a new partition so what we will do is we will go with the look again it is now freezing so there is definitely issue we have given it around 20 gb of installation size so it should work but you can see here it is not working properly so what we will do is uh, we will cancel it let us restart the system okay now we will restart it again or what we can do is let us go with the mbr type of uh, partition so maybe it is having problem with the gpt we can go with the mbr style partitioning what we can do yes so we will go with a new partition table we will go with the mbr style because mbr style of partition is more suitable for the virtual hard disk so let us go with that so this is the mbr style partitioning done now we will confirm it so ignore that uh, message we will have to again do the settings for the user so now you can see the partition table has changed the partitions have changed now 
earlier it was showing ubuntu tuxedo os now it is showing only tuxedo here so that's it we will install the system there is some issue with the installer don't know why what is the problem okay now you can see four options are there install alongside replace a partition erase disk and do manual partitioning so let us do manual partitioning again so now it is back to the older partition table you can see here fail to run update grub on the target so this update grub did not run after the new partition was done last time so what we will do is now we will uh, delete all the partitions done earlier so now we will create a new partition table with npr style partitioning now i think uh, it should work Okay, now I think this time we should we should succeed because we have deleted the older partitions and uh, recreated the MBR style partitioning. Yes, now we are I think successful. Last time we failed when we created a new partition table, but we did not uh, delete the partitions from the G GPT style of partitioning. So maybe there was some issue with the partition 2 that is the swap partition SDA2 now we are successful you can see the unpacking of image has started so that means uh, the partitioning is properly done and our system should be installed in next few minutes Okay, so the installation is complete and now we are directly booted, uh, rebooted into the login screen of Tuxedo OS. So I will stop the video here. In the next video, we will check out the Tuxedo OS KDE desktop. So see you in the next video. Bye.